A trope of belladonna will kill you. Datura will put you to sleep forever. Aconitum will kill you. Laurel will produce cyanide and kill you. Every plant here in the poison garden is poisonous and has the ability to kill you. My name's Trevor Jones and I'm the head gardener of Anik Garden. This plant is giant hogweed. It will get up to around about eight foot high. It's phototoxic, so it will burn your skin and give you blisters for up to seven years. This garden is set in the wall garden of the old castle in Northumberland, UK. We'd have around about 95 plants and we're adding to the collection all the time. This plant is Aconitum, or monkshood. Wonderful blue flowers, but the whole of the plant is poisonous. The berries, crushed up and fed to you, will kill you. The leaves themselves will kill you also, as will the root and the stem. We have to obviously maintain the garden, so we have to tend the plants. And when we do that, we have to be very careful of the way we operate. So we have to cover some of our skin when we deal with particularly dangerous plants. This plant is laurel, it produces cyanide, and we all know what that'll do to you. So it was the brainchild of the Duchess, the Duchess of Northumberland. So rather than having a herb garden, she decided to create more interest and have a poison garden. They're very, very common plants. In fact, a lot of them are what we call cottage garden plants, and they're grown in many people's gardens, but people don't know how harmful they actually are. This is a trope of belladonna. Four berries are enough to kill a child. People are intrigued by poisonous plants and often very worried when they come out because many of them will be growing these plants at home. They don't realise the powerful impact plants can have on us as humans. Is it something that you find fascinating? Definitely. Why? Uh, it's a good way to get rid of your wife. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh.